Hey everyone, my name is Flasher from Blight Gaming, and I'm here with another strat video from Mirage. So you always see like a team have like a really creative strat. Um, they might run it a couple times, but you really can't use it too often, otherwise they catch on to it. Or like it kind of goes in the same category as like using boosts on your CT side. Like once the CTs or the Ts notice what you're doing, they usually like clear it out or they're like aware of what's going to be happening. So I was thinking like how can you heavily fake out A to where people over rotate after you've done like a couple mid controls or a couple like A hits to where they think it's going to go A. So I came up with like these three sets of grenades um, for you guys to try out and see if it works on like a really heavy fake. So the first set's pretty standard. It's the CT smoke, which um, middle of these lines right here. Top left of this pillar. And you jump throw. That's going to land. Let me show you. The deeper it gets, the better. As long as you cut off that side. Because now this person, if he wants to jump up here and do something, he really can't. Um, you always want to have someone watch that jump up, though, just in case if you're taking on A. But after he throws that smoke, he's going to have two flashes and a molly. One flash goes right below the wood plank. Oh, the flash goes below the satellite, and then one molly towards the sandwich, and then after he's thrown that, really all this person has to do is kind of look for a frag right here. Doesn't have to over dedicate. CT should be smoked, and I'll show you the other two smokes. So while that one person's tossing all of that, the other four players are going to be upper B. So after a while, trying to get like a smoke that lands towards jungle and towards stairs. I found some jump throw ones, but jump throws are never consistent now because you can't have the bind. So these are the closest things. Um, here's the first one for stairs. Now this one usually will land on top of the stairs like all the way, but it's a very, it's a very delicate smoke. But for the means of what we're doing, it doesn't need to be perfect because no one's actually coming out of apartment. So, all right, so you line up here. You put your crosshair. All right, you see this little square from the the plank that's coming out and then the top of the roof there you put it in this little crack right here pull and then you walk until you hit the top of the satellite antenna dilly walk and this will see if it lands it does land so see how it landed right there sometimes it'll land right here in the stairs but it's okay like this is a perfect smoke and you're aiming for that but if it lands in the stairs, don't worry about it because you're really just faking it out anyway. And if the other person that's A is flashing over as you're doing this smoke, it's kind of hard to tell that the smoke is messed up to begin with. Um, and then the other smoke, to get a perfect jungle smoke, come to the middle of this one. Now this one's a little bit easier. See this like trident? Come to the right hand side and then come all the way up to this wire. And you walk through until you hit the top of that antenna again. And then you release. That one might have gone a little bit far. I don't think it did, but we'll find out. A little bit, a tiny bit far. And that's because they didn't release it right away. But it's still, you know, actually it's a perfect one. Except for if it goes a little bit more shallow, it'll catch right here as well. So if you have that smoke up along with this one, and the CT smoke, most teams are going to think you're executing it. Especially if you have one player who's flashing over and mollying over. Now while this is happening, you have the other four players just contacting B. Most of the time, you're going to have that person that's playing towards B rotating off of that situation. Or at the very least, you're going to have the one guy going towards um, Cat rotating off 100% of the time there. So really, you're taking a 4 versus 1 or you're taking a free sight. Um, I actually haven't experimented with this strat yet. I'm probably going to be using it next season. So I really hope that helps somebody. If you have any questions or something, just let me know. Um, thanks for watching.